One of the probably one of the first Spanish lifters I've seen this week. Quite a small team this year, but. He definitely falls into the height lifter category. Yeah, definitely. Wise words from the coach. <laughs> He's happy with that one. Yeah. See more height again. Oh yeah. Ruben Rodriguez Castro. Castro. The whole Spanish team every year are always the loudest. I don't know, the Brits were pretty loud last night. <laughs> yeah, he wasn't taking no for an answer, was he? Let's yeah. see the lights. Yes. I'm not sure how much more he's got, though. A bit more subdued. Focusing a little bit more. Much more technical. Yeah. You watch him when it comes to deadlift, though. <laughs> Interesting, he's quite asymmetrical on the legs there. Clearly works for him. Yeah, he is actually. He's quite almost sideways on the bench. Into the, uh, bench. <laughs> yeah, a bit of a roar there. And again, we see that asymmetric. I wonder. Yeah, personally, I'd, I'm not sure if. I wonder if he's got some sort of impingement or something, maybe. Okay. It's all looking quite close on uh, prognosis. So, although it is only the B group, these guys are going to treat it like a, like a top level fight. Oh, that's a shame. Not today. Just rolling the bar backwards to get out of all that talc and chalk. A good strategic move. Yeah. Yeah, look at that. He's happy with that one. Shot right there. It was, it was. Five reds and change on each end of the bar. Mm -hmm. It's nice to see. <laughs> I would agree. Quite a lot of support from the crowd. That's the thing you'll find with powerlifting, though. People love a trier. Yeah. First two looked really, really solid. They did, they were quick as anything. 20 kilos can make a lot of difference though. Let's see what he's got. Oh. Shame. Great effort though. It was. That's the thing with those dynamic lifters.